Okay, Ryan Steinelson here. I am with Accelerate Marketing and I get questioned a lot of times about how or what our process is for starting businesses out with digital marketing. What do I find is the number one most important strategy or important strategies to start with when you're a local business? So this is our value ladder. This really answers the question, where do you start when you're doing digital marketing for a business, especially a local business? This, in my opinion, having been doing this more than a decade, is the premier value ladder that a local business can follow in order to get the best and fastest results. The reason why we start with getting reviews in general is because these other strategies here, these other three, especially Google My Business, Local Service Ads, and Google Ads are predicated on having a great reputation. Because ultimately, if you have a, let's say, four-star rating or lower, you're just not going to convert. With the Google reviews, though, we're trying to get as many reviews as we possibly can. And we want to get those on the directories that are the most important for your vertical. And every vertical is different. And if you're looking for you know, what your reputation is, you can just you know, Google your business name and your city and you'll find very quickly what your reputation is because that's what a lot of people are searching for when they want to see your reviews. Second is tracking your leads, sources. You want to know if those leads are coming from Google My Business, if they're coming from local service ads or if they're coming from Google ads. You want to know if they're coming from Facebook or Yelp or wherever. And if you don't have a way to track your calls, there is no way for you to identify where to spend more of your money because ultimately what you're going to find is, is over time, you're going to find out your return on, on investment for investing in your Google My Business optimization versus investing in paying for qualified leads with local service ads versus paying for clicks with Google ads, which by the way, you know, with our personal injury attorneys, we typically find that we get cases or you know, converted leads for about three hundred to five hundred dollars for local service ads, and about three to five thousand dollars for Google ads. Now, um, Google My Business. This is just all about optimization. It's about setting your business up. Let's say it's personal injury, and your business is located in Atlanta. You want to make sure that you show up on that organic. There's only three that show up on the first page. And those guys get the lion's share of the business. And I'm going to show you guys in a second what I'm talking about with all these services. Now, the fourth one here, the fourth, fourth rung in the ladder is local service ads. With local service ads, you only pay for qualified leads. The definition of a qualified lead per Google, if somebody calls about a job type that you offer during business hours, that is the definition of a qualified lead. And you only pay for those leads, but, which by the way, that's the only way that you can get leads is through phone calls and also through the app with the message. Google ads, you're going to pay for clicks and they're going to come from Google search, Google maps, Google, Google display, and YouTube. Okay. That's where you're going to get those clicks, but you're paying for clicks and not qualified leads. That's the difference. So that's the value ladder that we have. You've got to build your foundation first, build your reputation, track those calls, go for the organic, and then go for paid with qualified leads and then clicks. So I'm gonna show you, you know, what I'm talking about here. This is our client here, okay, KJ Injury Attorney. Now let me just say this, so here's the Google screen and you get screened here by an independent third-party company. And what they do is, is they do a background check and they also make sure that you've got your license and your insurance. Now let me just click in here and you can see that here's all the services they offer. These are the job types that I was telling you about. Here's the attorneys, here's the location, here's their reviews, and um, this, is, this is how they're getting leads. It's very simple, um, but they're getting a, a ton of phone calls from this because they're showing up for a keyword that has over 1,600 searches per month, and they're only paying for actual qualified phone calls, meaning, again, somebody calls and that person inquires about a service that this company offers. So that's local service ads, okay? Just going back to here, this is local service ads. Um, this is the Google My Business section. Now, this is well below the Google local service ads for section here, which is also known as Google Screened. 
Now here's the Google ads. Okay. You know, they're Google ads because it says ad right here. And this is, this corresponds to this point on the ladder. Okay. And I can tell you that about 30 to 40% of people probably click here, probably 20 to 30% click here and about another 30, 20 to 30% click here. I can tell you though, that when you have a amazing reputation, meaning you've got a, you know, 4.5 star rating and more reviews than the other people that are here, you're going to win out on showing up on the maps and also showing up here. By the way, your Google local service ad page up here is connected to your Google My Business page down here. And all the, most of the reviews transfer when you connect them correctly. And that's why you kind of really work with a company that knows how to connect your Google My Business page with your local service ad page so that you get all of those, you get credit for all of those reviews views guys you've got to now you'll notice with your google ads there's no reputation here there's no reviews connected to it and we've documented this that we get a much higher conversion rate typically between 50 and 80 percent of the leads that come in here through local service ads are converted okay we're not seeing that high of a conversion rate here we're seeing maybe 20 percent 30 percent at the most 20 percent is high from google ads and you know we're seeing about a 30 to 50% conversion rate from the Google My Business uh, page leads. And this is the organic section. This is where your website's gonna show up. Again, this is the reason why we want to make sure that we've got call rail set up because we can then track the calls that come in from your website and we can find out if that person started with Google My Business and then maybe went to your website and that's what a call tracking system will do which then will allow you to specifically identify the return on investment from each one of these services that you're doing, that you're spending money on. So that you know, ultimately, if you wanna spend more money on local service ads or Google ads or Google My Business, when you develop and you create a Google My Business page and you optimize your Google My Business page so that you're getting an amazing number of new qualified leads, you better believe you're gonna be able to sell your business for a much higher amount than you didn't have that because that is additional business that you get every single month like clockwork and that's what you get by optimizing your google my business page and showing up in that three pack and then also optimizing your local service ads page and throwing showing up in the three pack as well at the top and then all the while getting those reviews and getting your team trained and educated on how and when and where and why to ask for reviews that's the key you've got to have a culture where they're constantly asking for reviews so that you stay ahead of your competition. So again, this is the local service ad section here. There's three that show up on the desktop, only two on a smartphone, by the way. Here's your Google ad section. Okay, no reviews, much more expensive. You only pay for qualified leads up here, by the way. Okay, phone calls. And then down here, you got reviews associated with it. This is connected to your local service ad page, your Google My Business. Um, it's it can be difficult to rank in larger cities here. It takes time. But once you get there, it's the goose that keeps laying those golden eggs. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is where I would start. This is, this is how I would go about setting up your business for complete success long-term for years and years to come. Because this is where people are finding businesses online and this is how they're doing it. And this is how you can optimize that process to focus initially where it's most important to focus so that you set yourself up for success when you actually start paying for traffic and tracking it all along so that you can determine your ROI. And then you can actually uh, focus more time, energy, and effort into the one strategy or two strategies that are generating the best results for you. Okay. Hope this makes sense. Thanks. Thanks.